Developing news now in Portsmouth, where another city leader is in hot water. Vice Mayor Lisa Lucas Burke faces two misdemeanor charges. She's accused of violating the city charter. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton explains what that means. Added drama in Portsmouth. A spokesman for the sheriff's office confirms Vice Mayor Lisa Lucas Burke is facing two misdemeanor charges. It all boils down to the city charter, which says council or its members cannot call for the removal of a person from office or employment. Day one on the new city manager, if we don't fire Angela Green by then, that's the first order of business that I want the new city manager to take on. That was Lucas Burke talking about the top cop at a press conference last week. If Lucas Burke is found guilty, she could have to forfeit her position on council. But the two misdemeanors do not carry jail time. Anything that's on the books as a class three, that's what, um, what it covers, a fine up to $500. Ed Booth is 13 News Now's legal analyst. He says any citizen can go to the magistrate's office and take out charges. Typically, and every time in the case of a citizen, is going to come from a citizen. Uh, and they have to be both sworn under oath in terms of what they're going to say, and they actually have to fill out, again, under oath, uh, a written criminal complaint. I reached out to Lucas Burke. She said no comment until she talks with her attorney. Her mom, Senator Louise Lucas, is also in the hot seat right now. She faces two felony charges after protesters spray painted and knocked the Confederate monument down and injured a man. Senator Lucas says she will be vindicated. As for Lucas Burke, her court date is set for September 2nd. In Portsmouth, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.